Vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris's husband is a partner at DLA Piper. That's a global law firm that works closely with the Chinese Communist Party. If Harris is elected VP, the closeness of this company to White House officials raises a few questions about potential conflict of interest. NTD's Miguel Moreno has more on that. According to its website, DLA Piper is a global law firm with lawyers in more than 40 countries. Kamala Harris's husband, Douglas Emhoff, has been partners with DLA Piper since 2017. That's according to his bio page on the company's website. The firm gives business advice to private companies and has also consulted Chinese state-owned businesses controlled by the Chinese Communist Party like China Merchants Group. Current and former members of the CCP also work for or partner with DLA Piper. This means that if Kamala Harris is elected vice president of the United States, the second man of the White House would be partners with a company that does business with the Chinese regime. NTD China Affairs analyst Tang Jingwen says Mhop's relationship with DLA Piper could be exploited. So in China, if you want to make money, any foreign company that wants to make money in China will have to get their hands dirty. This corruption is likely to give the CCP a lot of power to blackmail the foreign company. The CCP gets the goods on these companies and can blackmail them. Presidential Democratic candidate Joe Biden's visibly questionable health is another concern. For this reason, Jingwen says Harris is likely to have a strong voice on policies, especially those related to the CCP. This could potentially make it easier for the regime to influence Harris through her husband. Her husband has very big economic interests in China, so this will inevitably lead the CCP to use such a channel. By influencing her husband and then affect Harris, the CCP can influence U.S. policies. According to DLA Piper, Emhoff is currently on a temporary leave of absence. We contacted the Biden-Harris campaign for comment, but they didn't immediately get back to us. Miguel Moreno, NTD News.